What is up toy fans? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Son Goku trial version, which is a special model kit from Figurize that Bondi and Bluefin like to bring out to special events uh, and all sorts of fun things when they know they want people to get their hands on model kits and have some fun. Is it any good though? Well, let's find out and dive right in. Obviously, when you open it up, it's very straightforward, very simple instruction manual, uh, and two sprues. So again, not really that complex of a set. Uh, and once everything's out of the packaging, this is essentially what you have: two sprues, super simple. Uh, at Goku's iconic outfit colors, which is that macaroni and cheese orange. Uh, and you have the sprue with basically everything else. His arms, I lost one of his arms while I was unpacking it. Uh, you have that navy blue for his accent color. I guess the accent color of his outfit. The black for his hair, and then the white right up there for his eyes. Uh, right up there. His eyes are actually not decals. I thought that they would be, but in the decals, we only have his logo. Right there, the logo on the front of his chest, and then the logo he uses on the back of his uh, vest. Cool. Now let's let's get this thing building. Let's get this thing going. Once the kit is finally done, this is what we have. Uh, it's essentially a very, very simple uh, Goku statue with really limited posability. You get you know, a little bit of arm movement up at the shoulder. You get a little bit of head articulation, and then you get a little bit of uh, feet articulation. I guess the best way to sum it up in terms of posability is it's kind of like, uh, like a first grade. And the actual build of the kit itself reminds me a lot of these uh, yokai watch kits that I have been obsessed with forever. They're super simple uh, and they're a lot of fun. Uh, and this kit itself is very simple to build. Like you saw earlier, it's two sprues. The plastic itself, you don't really need a set of model nippers to, to take the pieces off. In fact, I was able to get most of them off with my hands. And for a kit like this that's designed to be built sort of on the fly at conventions, you know, when you're sitting on the side in the dealer hall and you need something to do to kill for about 20 minutes, it's really an easy build, a lot of fun. It doesn't require any paint, though, personally, I think a matte finish and maybe a little bit of panel lining would go a long way. But right out of the box, it's a solid looking Goku statue. I think the thing I'm most impressed with is the eyes. I had thought for the longest time that these were going to be stickers, but that's all molded plastic. And I think that's something the figure eyes figures do really well. And the logos on the front and on the back right there and right there are stickers. I would say those are probably the weakest part of the kit, but they're necessary. They kind of have to be stickers uh, and they, they work. But overall, I really like this. It was a fun little, little afternoon, fun little afternoon build that I can proudly display with my Dragon Ball figures. And since it is based on essentially the same incarnation of Goku, this is the SH Figure Arts uh, Saiyan Raised on Earth Goku. And on the back, you can obviously see the differences, color of the plastic. Um, you know, this is a $35 figure, and this is a free figure. So if you do have a chance to head up to a convention or a charity 
or an event where Bluefin and uh, Bondi are hosting the opportunity to build a model kit on site. It's a pretty nice Goku figure. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, join the Toy Fan family, and follow me for the latest toy news. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.